In this module, we look inside of an organization, inside of a company, inside of a firm, and start to explore the nature of management. What are managers doing? How is management structured? What are the responsibilities and activities associated with managing a firm within the context of the global economy? First lecture here, we'll talk about the basics of management, just to give a general idea of what we're talking about for the rest of this module. Management is a process that's designed to achieve an organization's, uh, an organization's objectives by using resources effectively and efficiently and doing so in an environment that is continuously changing. Effectively means having the intended results. Efficiently means accomplishing those objectives with the minimum use of resources. Managers make decisions about the use of an, of an organization's resources and they're concerned with planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling activities to reach the organization's objectives. Let's, mention, let's talk about those or just highlight those five items again and we'll come to them later in this module. Management is concerned with Number one, planning. Number two, organizing. Number three, staffing. Number four, directing. And number five, controlling. So planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. These activities all come together to help an organization identify and reach its objectives. The decision to introduce new products in order to reach objectives is often a key management duty. Management is universal. It takes place not only in business, but also in government, in the military, in labor unions, hospitals, schools, religious groups, any organization where there's multiple people trying to achieve an objective, there needs to be planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. If you think about it, it makes sense staffing, figuring out who is going to do what, controlling, making sure that things get done, etc., etc. And we'll talk more about those various items. What's the importance of management? Every organization must acquire resources, people, raw materials, equipment, money, information, in order to effectively pursue its objectives and coordinate their use to turn out a final good or service. Employees are one of the most important resources in helping a business attain its objectives. Successful companies recruit, train, compensate, provide benefits such as shares of stock or health insurance to foster employee loyalty. Acquiring suppliers is another important part of managing resources and ensuring that products are made available to, to the customers. As firms reach global markets, companies such as Walmart, Corning, and Charles Schwab enlist hundreds of diverse suppliers that provide goods and services to support operations. A good supplier maximizes efficiency and provides creative solutions to help the company reduce expenses and reach its objectives. Finally, the manager needs adequate financial resources to pay for essential activities Primarily funding, primary funding comes from the owners and the shareholders, people that own the business provide the basic funding, but there's also banks and other financial institutions that provide funding for periods of time. All of these resources and activities must be coordinated and controlled if the company is to earn a profit. Organizations must also have adequate supplies of resources of all types and managers must carefully coordinate their use, if they're the use of these resources, if they are to achieve the organization's objectives. So let's look at these five key functions again. They operate in harmony to use the resources that the business can develop, produce, and sell, allow them to create products and to sustain themselves within the organization. Planning are activities that achieve the organization's objectives. Organizing resources, or organizing allows you to make, to apply the right resources and people to the right activities in order to achieve the organization's objectives. Staffing, make sure the organization has qualified people. 
directing, making sure that employees' activities are moving towards the objective, aligning them towards the objective, and providing information and support to achieve those activities, and controlling, which is making sure that the activities that are happening are actually happening to keep the organization on course. We'll talk about each of those five, uh, five sections in a little bit more detail next.